In this video, I'm gonna give you a framework to properly fix flat or declining sales in your Amazon business, okay? So this is for you if your sales are the same as they were, month on month or year on year, or declining a little bit, it's fine. We've all been there. I've seen this hundreds of times. Uh, and if you're growing, but not as much as you'd like, this is for you too, right? This framework never fails to diagnose the problem. It never misses just because of the way it's set up. So I'll explain that to you now. Uh, and if we haven't met, my name is Patrick. We spend about $12 million a year on Amazon advertising. It's a serious addiction. We send help. Uh, and, uh, and I am here to document what we're learning for you because, you know, th these are secrets from top brands. And, you know, I feel like more people should have them. Amazon is a real strong democratizing force in the world in that anybody can set up and sell. You are an example of that. And so if you have the right product with the right implementation, which I will, you know, I'm teaching now, you'll do extremely well. You make a lot of money, provide for the family, have the life that you want. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, the framework that I'm teaching today is called skew by skew. It's something that I've used many times and it is here to fix flat or declining revenue. Um, I'll tell you a story, uh, on, you know, I can remember a particular example it was a relatively large account. So, you know, I think we were doing in the automotive space, 150 K a month on average USD, something like that. It was an amazon.com. But the problem was that for say the trailing 60 days, currently we were doing 150 K a month. And also for last year and for the same time period, we were doing 150 K a month. Right. But at the stock market, if the S and P 500 is growing at eight to 10 percent and your competition is you know new competitions coming in on amazon but we're staying the same our market share relative to everybody else is actually shrinking so even by staying the same by staying in the same place we're actually being left behind right so on amazon and in life if you're not growing you're dying it's not really acceptable to stay in the same place revenue wise so this was a problem right so you're faced with two decisions here if you have flat revenue year on year, month on month, you could say, oh man, it's, it's flat, this is horrible, right? But if you're like me, you probably want to do something about it. So you, but the problem is you can't really look at the top line revenue and know what the problem is, right? That's like, that's just the engine light flashing, but you don't know what's going on under the hood, right? So you actually have to take a step deeper. You have to peel off a layer and go to business reports. Now, <laughs> I will I will insist on this point, right? If, if Seller Central was going away and, uh, and you know, your Seller Central rep comes up to you and says, you know, you can only have one, one report left from Seller Central. I'm taking it, I'm taking everything else away. You know, which one are you keeping? Are you keeping the advertising, the search term report? Are you keeping inventory? For my money, um, and again, just for what it's worth, I'm keeping business reports, okay? because we can do stuff like this with it. And I'll, I'll put it up um, on the side here because we've got this nice blank wall. Uh, here, here's what you do, okay? So, so in Seller Central, go to reports and then business reports, okay? And then export some data from specifically, not just the generic business report that shows you the revenue, but the child skew view, right? Because what we want is revenue per specific ASIN, specific child skew. Right? Let's get really granular with it, right? So say you were, say you were down year on year and you wanted to know why, right? We're gonna export two CSVs, not one, but two CSVs from this business report section. I'm gonna export, okay, say like I'm recording now and it's um, August uh, 2022, right? So say we've been flat for June and July 22 versus June and July 2021, right? So my two CSVs that I'm going to export are um, June and July 2022 versus June and July 2021. And I recommend exporting a minimum of 60 days at a time on these things because honestly, 30 days of data, anything could have happened in 30 days, right? There could have been a stock out, there could have been, um, you know, new competition, listing suspension, whatever it is. There could have been something wrong in 30 days. 60 days is a little bit more solid, 90 even better, but you kind of start to lose the high resolution nature of this exercise if you go on too long. So I find that 60 days is pretty, pretty reliable, right? So you got two CSVs. You're gonna paste all the contents of those CSVs into the same CSV. You're gonna filter them by the name of the child SKU, like the ASINs, 
And then you're, you're going to compare the revenues, right? So if you filter like this, and again, um, uh, if, if what I said was confusing, it's because it is, um, please download the action plan um, attached to this. I, I'll link it somewhere here. Um, it's in, this exercise specifically is in chapter two, operations, uh, under the uh, skew by skew section. Skew by skew is the name of this framework, right? Um, but yeah, so basically what you're left with after doing this exercise is you'll have all of the um, performance of the SKU in 2022 versus the performance of that same SKU in 2021. And what does that do for you? Well, here's the thing. If your performance was flat, say you had like $1,000 in revenue, that could either mean that SKU A did 500 and SKU B did 500. So it's 1,000, so it's flat. Or it could mean that SKU A actually dropped from 500 to 300 and SKU B went up to 700, right? Or something like that. So you don't know where the problem is until you get down to the SKU level. And where the SKUs had a year-on-year -year decline, you can then fix it. You can diagnose a problem, like is, is it a listing issue? Is it, uh, were we out of stock? Is it that a new competitor came in? Did our re average review score go down? Um, what was the issue with that SKU, right? And so that's the kind of thing you can fix, whereas you can't fix just comparing your year-on-year -year top line. It doesn't work. You can fix year-on-year -year SKU comparisons, though. And that gets very actionable, right? And if, say, a SKU did outperformed year on year, you can put more ad spend behind it. You could uh, run, you know, make a sponsored brand campaign for it. You could optimize the listing further. You could launch uh, variations of that same product. You could, you could really you know, do the works to amplify what's already working naturally. Right? So this is a really powerful exercise and whenever you, you can just fall back on this whenever. Flat, declining, even growing, doesn't matter. If you fall back on this framework, you will find things to either fix, improve, amplify, what have you, right? Um, and this, is, this has helped us out in countless situations where we were like at our wits end in terms of what was responsible for flat performance. If you're not growing, you're dying. This has been Pat from Asteroid X. Again, um, I will link to the action plan. You can download it, it's free. Um, I will ask for your email. Uh, we will send you a copy of this book. There's other chapters in it, but for this specifically, um, it's chapters two, skew by skew. It sounds a, a bit like Dr. Seuss, so I'm going to stop the video now. You get it, but um, yes, uh, enjoy, have fun with this, and I'll see you in the next one.